As part of activities to mark the 2017 Fadan Fashion Week, the Fashion Designers Association of Nigeria, Fadan, held a fashion exhibition and seminar to train budding fashionpreneurs. The event, which was held on the 18th of November 2017 at the Ozumban Badiwe Civic Center, Victoria Island, Lagos, attracted professionals, fashion designers, and budding entrepreneurs from across the country among whom were fashion icon and CEO Labanella Couture, Chief Mrs. Abafolawio, Mrs. Ayofel Lualuashen, among others. The two-day event, which featured free masterclasses and trainings from industry professionals, exhibition, skill acquisition, among other activities, attracted over 50 exhibitors, 100 aspiring designers covering the entire value chain of garments making, bag making, shoemaking, bead making, and fabric painting. In a lecture titled, Starting and Running a Bankable and Sustainable Business with Little or No Capital, the CEO of Vilikan Business Services, Mrs. Abimbola Ozichuku said, the purpose of business is to create and keep customers, as customers are the source of profit in every business. She took participants through the various business models, adding that, Business models are maps that guide and help businesses create, deliver, and capture value. Mrs. Abimbola took time to enlighten participants on the necessary steps needed to build and sustain a business. You have to sit back to reflect and recharge the business battery. That is what I mean by reinventing your business. You can't keep working, 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 and you don't set aside time to work on the business. Where are we heading? What are we doing? Are we strategic about what we are doing? Where will we be five years from now? We will have to be deliberate. There has to be clearly written out plans that of how we want to achieve. That is recharging the business battery. Contrary to the generally held notion that money is the most important requirement for a new business, Mrs. Abimbola said, rather than running after startup capitals, Budding entrepreneurs should first come up with good ideas, start small, and think big. She charged participants, who were mostly fashionpreneurs and upcoming fashion designers, to put their knowledge into action, stay focused, and work smarter to make their vision a reality. We want to do more than 40 um, kaftans a week. The question is how? So the first thing is to set the goal, then you now look at how. Now your finances take control, have a budget, have proper accounting and record keeping in place. You must open a business account separate from your personal account. Your business is a separate entity from yourself. So there's a business account, Obama and Osama Limited. There's a personal account in my name. Two different entities. We don't want to see your business account, diapers and atar atarodo. Your personal expenses would come out from that. Take control of your finances. Don't spend the business money as if it's your own. Put yourself on a salary. Let the business grow. And when you are disciplined financially, it will enable the business to grow. Similarly, a brand expert, writer, life coach, and director of Brand Institute, Mrs. Ayofel Luaulua Shion, in a lecture titled, to really stand out and be relevant in today's market, reiterated the importance of branding, adding that a brand is an accumulation of words, thoughts, images, and emotions that come to mind when a particular product is mentioned. Hence, every brand must make promises. Mrs. Ayofel Lualua Shion said, branding makes it possible for customers to distinguish different businesses, especially when they offer the same services. She urged participants and business owners, especially in the fashion industry, to always remember that customers will only patronize them if they make them feel and look happier, smarter, secured, confident, among other expectations. A brand is an accumulation of words, thoughts, images, and emotions that come to your mind when you hear of see experience. A brand is also a promise. These definitions are very, very important because they will help you. A brand is a promise. So yes, I mean you are a fashion designer, um, or you are—I mean you, you, you belong to one area or the other in the you know fashion value chain. 
But then what promise are you making to me? What exactly are you telling me that, okay, if I, if I decide to patronize you, what am I going to get at the end of the day? She rounded up for the call to participants to always give back to the society, as this will entrench their brands and generate press attention, adding that any brand that does not make impact in the society is a failure. This was followed by an interactive session that saw participants asking pertinent questions, to which the facilitators provided answers and clarifications. In the practical and skill acquisition class, Participants were divided into various groups according to their area of interest as they trained in the practical aspect of fashion designing, such as sewing, stitching, sketching, shoemaking, among other skills. In an interview with Biscuit Crew, some of the exhibitors, CEO of Kijipa Couture, Mr. Dewale Adegbaye Kiji, CEO Laura House of Fashion, Omolara Awobadejo, took turns to describe some of their products on display. It's, it's that gift that the Kijikwa Kuto, uh brand is, you know, offering the world from the soil of Africa. So it's just like we're using the Kijibos collection of Kijikwa Kuto, you know, to uh, connect the African style, you know, to the global market. And that's what we've been trying to do with this piece, you know. We are for ladies and teenagers. We make classy outfits. Anyone that cares to stand out, and that's what we are, we are all about. If you look around right now, one of our pieces right now is our bubble sleeve with this pebble neckline and um, it's, it's for any class lady. If you want to be noticed, if you want to stand out anytime, you come for it and we'll give it to you. The Fashion Designers Association of Nigeria, FADAN, is the only recognized professional body promoting, marketing and developing the Nigerian arts and fashion culture. Ever since its establishment in 1989, Fadan has been at the forefront of Nigeria's exhibition and fashion shows, both home and abroad. Nigerian fashion designers have taken the bull by the horn, rewriting the history of fashion in Nigeria. Many years ago, most fashion outlets in Nigeria comprised of foreign designs, but today, trending designs are made by Nigerian fashion designers who create their pieces using quality local fabrics. Fadan as a body has positively impacted the fashion business in Nigeria by making sure that our local designs are of international standard. And to highlight this, the 2017 Fadan Fashion Week exhibited latest designs at discounted prices alongside the opportunity to meet the designers in person through an exhibition. On Sunday, the 19th of November 2017, the city of Lagos came alive as the 2017 Fadan Fashion Week was held at the Civic Center, Uzumbambadiwe, Victoria Island, Lagos. The event began with a runway show as various fashion designers showcased their colorful, cool, creative attires adorned by models. Some of the designers who showcased their designs included Mystic Couture, Faultless Sparkles by Victoria Oman, Iman Signature by Adejari Adejobi, Mega Echoes by Precious Nwese, Victor Bassey, African Beach Wears by Grace Hearts, Titus Collections by Augustina Abraham, and Kijikba Couture's by Adewale Adegbayi Kiji just to mention a few. Little Weavers by Mrs. Inyabong Onwokwo ended the event with a classy display by some kid models who walked the runway, looking resplendent in the attires they adorned. Dignitaries present at the Fadden Awards Night 2017 were Senator Daisy Danjuma, Mrs. Iretia Semuta, Princess Abba Folawio, Mrs. Folarosha Alakija, Senator Femi Judu, Chief Mrs. Senna Antony, Princess Yewande Oniliri, Mr. Yomi Badejo Kunsoya, Chief Mrs. Folashadi Faho, Founder of Faden, Mr. Rafai Ladikbo, the husband of the President of Faden, Mrs. Fumi Ajila Ladikbo, the Yeyeo Bafo Gidi Land in Kugis State, 
Mrs. Nike Okundaye, Her Royal Highness, Queen Zainabu Titi Obano, Prince Basio Latilo, Chairman and CEO Beskin Communications, among many other important dignitaries. Iriti Doyle and Osaji Dakbo were the compares of the night. They gave a brief insight on the mission and vision of Faden. To properly kickstart the event, the opening prayer was said, after which the national anthem was sang. A short documentary which showed the various activities of the Faden Fashion Week 2017 was shown. In the opening remarks of the national president of Faden, Mrs. Fumi Ajilala Dipo, she appreciated all for gracing the occasion, describing herself as an action person. She later enjoined all to have a delightful evening. I'm an action person. I'm not a talking person. Um, I want to say, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the night. Thank you for coming. The first runway acts featured Victor Bassi, Iberi Design, Arewa Fashion Creation, and JP Kutor, who wowed guests as they came out in gorgeous attires. Thereafter was a music interlude as Black Magic Theatre entertained guests with an enthralling dance performance. My people said they fear too much. We fear for the pain we know. An exercise. Three beautifully designed cakes were showcased. The first cake was to commemorate the 75th birthday anniversary of Princess Abba Folawio, an Amazon in the fashion world. The second cake was to celebrate the richest black woman in Africa, Mrs. Folorisha Lakija, for her continuous support in the fashion industry. The last cake was to celebrate Faden as the president sang a special birthday song for Princess Abba Folawio. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Each of the women celebrated made positive comments about Faden and appreciated the team for their relentless dedication 
which has taken Faden to the next level. For me, you've been a wonderful daughter to me. And uh, since she became the president of Fadan, she's really doing very, very well. She took it over from uh, Prince, and uh, she's, uh, she's really working hard. And uh, Fadan is going to be up, up, up there, by the grace of God. So we thank you very much. I appreciate you. I'd like to encourage each and every one of you for adding to and building on what we have been doing in the past, we'd like to see you soar higher and higher. It is our joy, our pleasure to be a part of all of this. And we'd like to encourage you to ensure that the name of Hadan is known worldwide. Don't let it be limited to Nigeria. Don't let it be limited to Africa. We want those doors open wide for you to step in. God bless you. We appreciate you and your entire team. And thank you for honoring us like this. We appreciate everything you've done. God bless you. Thank God for everything. How many years now? When we started, Father, little did we know that it's going to be it's going to become something like this. I mean, this is getting to be worldwide recognition because Father is being talked about in so many Western world as well. And um, this is really good. And a lot of efforts have been put in. From yesterday, when I visited the arcade, downstairs, I saw the work of the Nigerian fashion designers. I feel so elated to know that somehow this has come to be like this. To God be the glory. This dovetailed into the cake cutting exercise proper. Joy, you cut the cake. Can I get a J? Oh, and a lovely, lovely wife. Joy, ladies and gentlemen. The presentation of awards was next, as Mr. Yomi Badejo Kusonya presented the first award to Mrs. Fola Shadi Thomas Faho in recognition of her inspirational leadership and extraordinary contributions to the Fashion Designers Association of Nigeria, Faden. The second award was presented to Princess Abba Folawio. The third award went to Mrs. Folarishwa Lakija in recognition of her humanitarian largesse to the fashion industry in Nigeria. While the fourth award went to Mrs. Nike Davis Okundaye in recognition of her inspirational leadership and extraordinary contribution to the Fashion Designers Association of Nigeria, Fadan. The second sets of awards were presented by Mrs. Mary Maduhaman, and the recipients were Chief Mrs. Niki Akonde, the President's Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industries, Senator Florence Itagiwa, a Faden Life Patron, Mrs. Patricia Agbako, ex Faden President, and Prince Bisio Latilo, Chairman and CEO Biscan Communications. They were given awards in recognition of their inspirational leadership and extraordinary contribution to the Fashion Designers Association of Nigeria, Faden. I'd like to dedicate this to the Lord and um, to every Nigerian fashion designer, every African fashion designer. Kudos to all of you. God bless you. The best thing that has happened to Nigeria is Faden. I think I should express it a bit of that. I said, today, anywhere you go to, people wear our clothes, the fabric, the local fabric, a lot of pride. Not just Nigerians alone, but everybody does it. And if you didn't have a good um, background for this, this wouldn't have happened. So, Fadan, put your hands together for Fadan, ladies and gentlemen. And we will continue to project Fadan beyond our shores, because that's what we've been doing for 18 years now on the POS show. 
And today we have a 24 hour channel, and what we do is just celebrate Nigeria. And I'm proud to be one of you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. The last sets of awards were presented by Mr. Rafai Ladipo, Honorable Dr. Elisha Atlai, President and Founder AWLO, Her Royal Highness, Queen Zainab Otiti Obano, Apostle Williams Ihana Cho Otabel, Chairman Speed Concept Limited and Buy Niger Project, Senator Baba Femi Ojudu, Mr. Oscar Yao Dok, President and CEO Eurostar Global Limousine Group, Omoyeni Anikolak Bokuti, and Mr. Bobby Eke, Director Baba Signatures. They were presented awards in recognition of their inspirational leadership and extraordinary contributions to the Fashion Designers Association of Nigeria, Faden. Fashion is my passion. A couple of days ago, I was uh, at Sheyi Bodhi's uh, Fashion Plaza in Abuja. And talking to the staff, I told them that when I'm done with politics, I'm going to become a designer. <laughs> so I'm so glad tonight to be in the midst of, uh, you know, the big names in fashion in Nigeria. Uh, our mother the other time said, if there's any government official here, you should carry the message home. I happen to be the special advisor to the president of political matters. So I will, I will convey a message to him, and as well to the minister of culture. Mr. Kola Kudus presented a surprise award to the president of Faden, Mrs. Fumi Ajila Ladipo, on behalf of members of the association. Of this great association, the Association of the Fashion Designers Association of Nigeria, we present this special award to this superwoman, our president, our hero. We love you, we love you, we love you. Thanks for your support. Thanks for encouraging us. Thanks for putting us forward. And thanks for putting us first all the time. Thank you very much. R 1470 by Goody came on next to showcase their collections. And they were really unique pieces. The launching of the Faden magazine was next, as Princess Abba Folawiyo, Mrs. Folonsha Lakija, and Mrs. Folashadi Faho, and other awardees, launched the magazine handsomely. Mrs. Rikia Abdullahi Muftiao, a member of Faden, displayed her collection of perfumes, which were generously launched by Mrs. Folonsha Lakija and Princess Abba Folawiyo. Through the smell, but even the packaging and the name i love the name and the lady has a spirit of excellence god bless you thank you so i help her launch it members of faden were not left out as various individuals were given special awards for their positive contributions to the association to end the night of fashion celebration lewis prime and Modella Couture Designs took the runway, displaying colorful and very eye-catching attire. Mommy, see, I don't be legal spender. I got a shitload of that legal tender. I'm thinking how we met, it's not going to see data. I can make a life just a little better. Have you ever been to Lagos? Young, vibrant Nigerian designer. Akuna Matata. Louis Matata. From Biscon Communications, we congratulate the Fashion Designers Association of Nigeria, Faden, on a successful Fashion Week 2017.